Hi everyone, my name is Vince Galman. Thank you so much for being with me today, for visiting my channel. And what I wanna talk about today, what I feel called to speak to is two things. One is that you are the sole solution now for these extraordinary times and you don't have to wait to be. You are the sole solution as a powerful soul now. And the second thing I want to speak to a little bit later is how together as powerful souls we are forming a grid of light across the planet and what that grid actually does. So there are many people who are looking for their purpose. What is my purpose? What am I here to do? But what I want to offer you, what I invite you to consider is that your purpose is to be you. Your purpose is to be you and you are you now. You don't have to wait to be you. You already are you because you already are a powerful soul. And that in itself, just recognizing, take, taking that into our heart can be an awakening itself. It's like, oh, wow, I am a soul. I don't have a soul. I don't have a higher self. I am a powerful soul. I am the higher self now and I have a body. I'm not the body, I have a body. I'm a powerful soul now. And the powerful souls we are, are holographic mirrors of the one source God, of Sophia, of the creator. We are omniscient, we are omnipotent. We are so powerful in our love, our light, our truth, our wisdom. We really have no idea at this current state of human awareness how powerful we are. And so you are the solution, the sole solution now, irrespective of what you do. So whether you are doing your bookkeeping or making dinner or going for a walk, you are the sole solution and you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. So what is primary in your purpose is your beingness, irrespective of what you do. You are a human being, not a human doing. You are the sole solution now. So we are here as light workers to radiate light, love, truth, higher frequencies of light. We are here to radiate these frequencies through the stargate of our body, through the star stargate of our body. And we do that by healing, by healing the trauma imprints and the program imprints that veil us from the truth of who we are. Okay, that, that form like a, like a filter in our DNA that don't allow the fullness of who we are as our higher nature to fully anchor in, into our DNA, into our body. So the healing is so important to transmute and create quantum space to transmute those trauma imprints and program imprints to create the quantum space for the truth of who we are as powerful souls to anchor in and to run our human awareness more and more and to use this body for higher and higher purposes. So the more we heal, the more quantum space we create, the more light can anchor in, the more light can anchor in, the more light can broadcast through the stargate of our body, the more we can become powerful anchors and transmitters of higher frequencies. And again, that is something that we do all the time. It doesn't matter where we are, we are broadcasting those frequencies. We are the solution. So the living masters, the, the sages, the avatars, what, what, what they have done is that they're, they're, um, they're such powerful examples of anchoring, of anchoring high, high amounts of frequency, high amounts of love, light, and truth. They've opened fully to the light they are. 
the fullness of who they are as powerful souls is anchored in to the body, has taken the throne of the body. They are fully embodied people. And so when there is a gathering around them, a satsang, a community of people, not only is that, those commu that community of disciples, not only are they taking in the verbal teachings of these um, avatars, of these masters and sages, but what they're also doing is they are um, calibrating to these transmissions. They're calibrating to them and increasing their frequency in the process at a pace that is right for them. They are gradually increasing their capacity to hold and transmit these frequencies. So I work with Ascended Masters in the Higher Plains. I work with Kuan Yin, Isis, Mother Mary, for instance. And what I do is that I, in my work, is I calibrate to their frequencies. I calibrate to their higher frequencies. And what I do for a living when I'm not creating videos and writing is I transmit starlight across the planet for individuals and in group ceremonies to help people heal and to help people open to higher frequencies of light. I'm transmitting starlight, which really is Christ light, Buddha light, it's God light. I'm transmitting these frequencies to help transmute trauma and programming and to support people to anchor in higher frequencies of light and to become more powerful light workers, being soul solutions for this planet's awakening process. So what we're doing in this process, what, what's happening when we're anchoring these higher frequencies is we are becoming what I call towers of power. We are becoming towers of power radiating these frequencies. 5G powers, 5G towers, are an inversion of that. 5G towers, which are created by the dark overlords to help usher in AI integration, to support uh, global surveillance, centralized control, those uh, are false tower powers. They are towers of power they are towers of false power. They are towers of inverted power. Okay, so we are a true tower of power. And in the same way that there are many 5G towers across the world, all interconnected, communicating with each other, what we are doing as awakening light workers across the planet is we are forming a light grid, a light grid and we are communicating with each other without even knowing it. We are forming a light grid. Imagine little lights all around the planet and they are all interconnected into a web, into a web. This is the true matrix. This is the light matrix, the matrix um, that we talk about a lot, that oppressive dark matrix is the inversion of that powerful light matrix that we are co-creating together. So that's another inversion of truth. That's another inversion of power. There are many inversions of truth and power on this planet. So we are co-creating this light grid together through our heroic inner work, through anchoring that light, through broadcasting, transmitting that light. And what we're doing is by forming that light grid, we are giving people who are opening, who are ready, to open to higher frequencies, we are giving them something to dial into, to plug into. That little antenna goes up from their heart, from their, their mind, it plugs in, and now they're tapped in to a different kind of internet, okay? Now, when they're plugged into this, portals begin to open in their consciousness, doorways begin to open, they suddenly turn left when they'd normally turn right. They some, suddenly click on this when they would normally would click on this, and that leads them to a training, a book, a person, a key moment that, that then leads to other doorways and other pathways that lead them more and more fully into their power, lead them more fully into their light, and they then contribute to this, this expanding, growing light grid, this expanding, growing uh, matrix of light. 
So this is what's happening. This is how we're raising the collective field of consciousness is by contributing, co-creating uh, this, uh, contributing to and co-creating this light grid. So what about people in countries like China or North Korea? And I think about those people a lot. My heart really goes out to them. I, I don't know why, but I, I think about them probably a lot more than most people do. Um, I've spent a lot of time thinking about the nature of suffering and, I've, and, and what it's like to live in those places, in those dictatorships, where information is so controlled, where people are so suppressed. How do they awaken when they don't have access to the books and the, and the yoga classes um, that we do? Where it's actually, um, they can be punished and put in prison if they speak too much from their truth and power. What about them? Well, the good news is, is we don't have to travel to those countries. We don't have to go there to lead a seminar on empowerment. We don't even have to go on Zoom to invite them to uh, some kind of online training. Oh, I'm hearing geese fly by. <laughs> Maybe they're going there. <laughs> and um, we don't have to do that. We just have to expand the power of this, this grid of light and know that that grid of light is going through North Korea, it's going through China. That grid of light doesn't go around those countries. It's not selective. The grid of light isn't like, okay, we're gonna go there, but we're not gonna go there, <laughs> right? So the grid of light is available around the entirety of the planet. And so people in China, people in North Korea, people in other oppressed dictatorships, oppressive dictatorships, they too can dial in. Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, those who are ready and open, they too can dial in, tap in to this grid of light. And when they do, again, portals of consciousness, doorways open, even in those oppressive nations, we can trust that doorways open for them and that they will be led they will be led to new possibilities. They also have their spirit guides. They have their family of light guiding them. They're powerful, powerful souls as well. Yes, they are oppressed, but they too are powerful souls. They too are towers of power. So we are here to spread the love. We are here to spread the light. And we do that by our very being. We do that by who we are. So the next time you are um, cooking, cleaning, doing your bookkeeping, playing with your kids, I invite you to remind yourself that in that moment, you are transmitting love. You are transmitting light. You're transmitting beauty and compassion and joy and playfulness. You are transmitting all the qualities of light by your very being by who you are, by the way you look at someone. You transmit it when you walk down the street. You transmit it everywhere you go. You are the solution. Now you don't have to wait to be who you already are. Doesn't that sort of logically make sense? We don't have to wait to be who we are. And so what is happening right now in the world is the dark forces are calling forth the light. The dark forces are calling forth the light. And the more they impose their darkness, what's happening is the more they're calling forth the light. They're calling us into our truth, our power, our sovereignty. And, and so that is the paradoxical gift of these times is that dark is indeed calling forth the light. And so this is an opportunity for us all now to claim our sovereign power and contribute to this grid of light and give people all around the world the chance to dial in, plug into this light and awaken to their power and contribute as solutions to this global awakening. 
So I offer that to you as a vision of hope. And honestly, it's a vision of truth because it is who you are now. Thank you for listening and watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, click notifications. I'd love to read your comments. Please share. I have links in the description um, for my social media, for my website, my newsletter. If you're interested in healing with Starlight, I'll put a link in the description for you as well. So thank you, everyone. Take good care. And remember the solution you are.